My mom always told me, like before I was even born, her and her dad, her and my dad, excuse me, would actually brainstorm names that would be good for a musician. And I feel like that was always destined to really be my journey, it's just music. Um, mom's a singer, dad's a musician. So I kind of took both of those things and just, you know, built off of that and, and let it grow. I just want to make whatever comes to mind that best, you know, expresses what I'm feeling at the time. Sometimes it might be more R&B, other times it might be more hip hop. And some days I really feel like I just want to rock out. You know, I'm a guitar player, musician overall, and there's really no rules to me. There's really no limits for me, and you know, I just create. I'd have to say my biggest influences off top would be Prince, Hendrix, and D'Angelo. Um, all crazy musicians, I don't even have to go there. But I just remember I was always riding around with my dad and there was always some type of Prince record playing and Hendrix was always my biggest inspiration for guitar playing to D'Angelo. I could never get away from it. my god brother who got me into producing it. Shout out Midwest. But yeah, those have to be my top three. One thing I say about my music, I feel like you never know what to expect because I never know what to expect. You know, I do so much and I really want to put all of that into my music. I don't want to leave anything out. So you really never know what you get until you press play. And I don't really think a lot of artists can say that right now because as many great artists, new or old, that are still out and relevant right now, I just don't know too many who's liable to come on stage and pick up a guitar or, you know, hop on a drum set and just start recording themselves and producing for themselves with all live instruments and I think that's something that's really missing that I want to bring back to music just period. Working with Master P definitely. Um, that was one thing that was never expected. It just happened um, through very good friend and partner of mine, Jameson Beverly. What up, JB? And it's not so much, you know, being able to work with him. Uh, I mean, I got, you know, the figurine of this dude sitting in my studio and it's so crazy. Um, but just the knowledge and the wisdom that that man, you know, throws out there has helped me with so much in the past, you know, few months and just building it with my own career that is. You know, it's something that you just can't really get anywhere else. Uh, currently, I live in Los Angeles, California. Um, I don't know, there's so much that I do right now, it's hard to say with the start. I, I really just focus on me though. I really wanna put myself in the, in the right position as an artist to know exactly what I want to do at all times, even when I don't know what I want to do, which I know that's kind of ironic to say, but um, I work with you know whoever has the right vibe and the right energy at the time. I work with whoever you know really has a vision and just has something to bring to the table as far as music is concerned. I'm really concerned about bringing music back to a good space 